came here, well, give or take four or five months ago, I came up here and got prayed on. With that oil, it's loose. Pastor Davis, he told, he told me, you know what to do. And when that Monday morning woke up, when I woke up that next morning, my whole life changed. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. The prayer. Thank you, God. The worship, God. Thank you, God. And sometimes when I'm sitting in service, I'll just be writing notes and I'm thinking about sermon notes for later. And, and, and I thought of, thank God I can cry again. Thank you, God. Because you know, when you're in our environments, when you grow up, where I grew up, you become a hardened version of yourself. When you're black in corporate America, you become a hardened version of yourself. And you don't, you aren't yourself anymore. And so you're told to withhold your emotions. You're told to ensure that uh, you, you're on top of your game. Ain't nobody gonna take me down. Wednesday. Thank you, God. Work Wednesday. And you suppress everything that you have and you become a ball of energy that if not taken care of, becomes uncontrolled. But I thank God for being able to cry again. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, God. I thank God that tears endure for life, but joy, joy comes in the morning. Glory to your name, God. Be blessed. I just want to thank God for this opportunity. I, you know what I'm saying? See, y'all sitting there. I used to sit in the same seat trying to find any distraction, whether it was my phone, whether I was trying to go to sleep. But one day, Pastor was preaching, and I thank God for him who was preaching. And one day, I actually started to listen. You know, the Bible say, "Those who believe by hearing, hears by the word of God." <laughs> After that day, I started doing other things like seek him, read the word, even though I changed my music. You know, when you walk in with God, things don't change. And it's, it's not gonna be easy. Just because you're walking with God, you're actually gonna see more things, it's gonna be more difficult. But you will fall short, but you gotta let your light outshine your darkness. Like, you gotta be the light in the dark room and then outshine. 
Like, take me for example. I used to be in the world, but the Lord freed me because this world is a, is a prison. And hell is also hot. And also, everything you have is good for you. Like, some things you have or holding on to are like rocks on your back. Like, everything don't align with the purpose God gave you. And I stand here to tell you, when you have purpose, it's gonna be lonely. Things gonna hurt you, but when people feel you, God is your best friend. And I still remain here standing because God, God was my comforter, my healer, my leader, my strong tower, protector, and I can truly say that God has blessed me. Hallelujah.
hearts you've been through and the things that the enemy has tried to take you out with but you are still here and it's by his grace and it's by his mercy that we are still here and that we can still give him praise and we can still give him glory and we can still give him honor in spite of it all Special presentation from Elder Eric.